Hello everyone, in this video we are going to see about pairs in C++ STL. So let's get started. So first let me tell you what is a pair. So pair is quite similar to map, okay. So in map in C++ we will be having uh, a key and a value, okay. Map will be having a key and value. So at the end we will be having like two numbers or two uh, variables of any data type. So by using the key we will be able to access our value. So this is what we do in a map. A pair is also quite similar to a map, but the only difference is that in pair, we won't be having a key and a value, but instead we will be having two values itself. Okay, that's the only difference. And here we won't be able, able to access one value by using another value. It isn't the key and value concept like map. Instead, we will be having two values. That's it. And maps are used independently. Okay, like we can use map independently with, uh, without the help of any other con container. But pairs, we can also use independently, but mostly pairs are used through vectors. Okay, so first let me just delete this and let me show you the syntax of pair. So it's going to be same thing. You need to Im import this header file as include bit slash std. And for pair, it's going to be same as for vectors, it's going to be pair. And as I told you earlier, here we will be having two values. So we need to pass any two data types. So here I'm going to consider int, okay, it can be int, int or string int, char int, anything of your choice and int, int. And let p be my pair, I will put p. So this is like a standard syntax for pairs. So there are like different ways of initializing a value. So let me, this is one way. So if you just go here and put one comma two, this is, so we are having a pair of values now, one and two. Now let's say now how we can access this value one, okay? So if we just go and put C out, in map we will be using that particular map dot first dot second, same applies over here as well. So we will put p dot first and you put end l and if you just go here put c out p dot second so first corresponds to this one and second corresponds to two within a particular pair okay so let me just write down so i'm getting output as one and two and let's suppose say you want to copy the contents present in this pair to another pair so for that we can do just copy this i can just go here and put p1 p1 of p so all the contents present inside P will be copied to P1. So if I just go here and put P1, P1, I'll be getting the same output. Same one and two. So these are like, this is one way of like initializing values to a pair. The other way is like, you can also you do this way around. I just go here and manually assign P.1, P.1 first equal to 10 and P.2 is equal to 20. So this will also work and like suppose in vector we will be having let's suppose v is our vector we will put v dot push back for pair we need to do this way we need to put p equal to make make underscore pair one comma two okay run it out so this is how it works and let's suppose say we need to have like a array of pairs or a list of pairs okay so I will show you how it's done. So for that, what we need to do is you need to like, in case of declaring array, what you do int year of 100. So similar case here also, you need to put pair and the particular data type. And as I like told you earlier, I forgot this to tell you, you can also have like a yeah, string over here. And in case of you're doing string, you need to pass bit within double quotes that we put some random text. I just need now. You need to pass within double quotes for string. And if it's of like a char type, okay, of a character type, you need to do within, within single quotes, okay. So these are some basic stuff. So now let's jump to our uh, list or array of pairs, okay. So for that, what we will do is, as I told you, it's similar to array. So you need to put P of some N, okay, N number of pairs that we're going to have, okay. You need to just put a random 100 over here. And first, we need to get the input from the user, okay. For that, we will be just using a for loop for int i equal to 0 i less than let me say i'm going to just input five pairs okay so five pairs means we'll be having like 10 values okay for five first pair, uh, pair dot first will be five pair dot second will be five so which may adds up to 10 values so it's going to be i plus plus i'm just going to put c in p of five okay you need to put p of five if you put p it will be error p dot p of five dot you're going to put first and next p of i dot second okay this is how we're going to get the input so for like displaying the output same process just copy this and paste it 
and instead of C in, just put C out and here also C out. Just put okay, let me just do this way. So mostly no one like prefers using this way around, okay? Like manually initializing value for a pair and using everyone just combines vector to pairs, okay? They just it's used combined. Okay? No one use pairs alone. So I'm showing this after this I will be explaining you about how to like combine vectors and pairs. So this is fine, I guess. Yeah. Let me just add a endl over here. Just put a endl because uh, one each pair will be displayed in a separate line. So let me turn it now. So I will be inputting ten values because I have kept the i value less than five. So first line it's going to be one and two, and three and four, five and six, seven and eight, nine and ten. So I'll be getting the same as the output. That's fine. So now let's see how we can do. Pairs, uh, how we can combine pairs and vectors. Okay? So vector pair int of the data types, data type, and v the name of our vector pair. So this is the syntax, and we're getting input. We need to like change this a bit. Okay, so it's going to be, let's say our uh, input is going to be let us have like two variables. So int a comma b our input values. So it's going to be c in a c in of a and c in of b. And next line, what we'll do is we'll do v dot push underscore back. And here we'll be passing uh can to make underscore pair of a comma b. There's also multiple ways of doing this. I will show you now. So this will work, I guess. So let me just reduce the number of values. Let me put three, let me run it now. So I put one and two, three and four, five and six. So it works perfectly. And like instead of doing this on a repeated basis you can just simplify this code as you can do is just a curly bracket and you can just go here and do a comma b like this way so this will also work so let me do same stuff that's working perfectly as well these are some of the ways in which pairs can be used in STL. So that's it for this video. I also learned many other STL videos and as well as SQL videos. So do check them. And I also learned many other videos in programming languages C, C, Java, Python, as well as 3D animation blender. So do check the videos of my channel and subscribe to me. Thanks for watching.